Well, it's Tuesday. It is. And we're moving on to a new subject. We've been gaggling geese, or we've been playing with geese from the Rio Grande Southern. We're going to be looking, uh, well, on the Sunday show, we've been building the logging railroad right. for the last few weeks. And we've been digging out some of the logging engines to run on the logging, because we've never had the logging railroad. And it still doesn't run yet. There's Not no yet. rail on the ties. It's <laughs> getting there, though. It's getting there. And so this was the first engine we dug out, which is appropriate because it's the first engine that I bought. And it's also the first engine that Bachman made in their logging uh, railroad series, the Shea. That's neat. Now, um, it's been offered in a couple of different configurations. And it's, it's really important to know the difference between them. Because the very first one of these that they did had a major defect. Oh, really? Yeah, and, and the HO version had the exact same defect, and that's that they used a nylon gear uh. press fit onto a metal axle, and um, it's splined to keep it from slipping. Well, in no time at all, it starts to slip, and if it doesn't Imagine. start to slip, the splines, as they were pushing the gears on there, the splines would put micro cracks in the oh. gear, and those cracks would expand, and eventually the gear just falls, falls completely off, off the shaft. Oh. So a lot of the people who bought these, um, the thing went 20 feet down the track, and then the motor was going, and the, and the locomotive wasn't. Oh, no. And it's like, what's with that? And they contacted Bachman, and Bachman was freaking out, and everybody was freaking out. And um, Bachman offered uh, a fix, which was all new wheel trucks. Really? Powered, powered wheel trucks for this, and they would just give you a set of those. But you had to install them. I think if you really wanted to, you could send the whole thing back to them, and then mm -hmm. they would do that. I can't imagine how much money... Bachman lost. I can't imagine either. Hopefully they learn from that little failed experiment. Well, and I hope we all learn from it because Ugh. the downside is they sold so many of that first generation yep. that a lot of people bought them and they never ran them. Oh. You know, because it's a neat engine. Yes. And you put it on a mantle piece or in a display model. case, a static mm. model of some kind. So when you go on eBay and you start shopping for these, those very first generation ones are all over the place. Oh, really? Oh, dear. And if you buy one, you might really regret it because Bachman's not offering the free upgrade or anything oh, anymore. anymore. It's been years and years ago that, right. that they came out with it. Oh, dear. So how do you spot that first generation one? Well, you can't always. Oh, no. There's a way of spotting the ones that definitely will work, but there's no way of spotting the ones that may work versus the ones that definitely won't work. Mm. But the one that definitely wouldn't work, the very first generation one was billed, I, I think it's 36 ton Shea, which is this guy here. Okay. And the way to spot it is it also has a wood cab. It's got uh, wood slats in here. Oh. And that was the first generation. Well, halfway through the production run, they realized that they'd made a mistake and they fixed it. And this one, I'm pretty sure is one made after that point because it's never had the upgrade done, but it's also never spun the gears off the axles oh, or anything. And I doesn't. lose sleep hoping that yeah, it never yeah, does. Right. But a lot of those first generation Bachmans had that same defect and it, it took years for some of them to come forward. But a lot of those first generation moguls and 440s and everything, Eventually, that gear starts to slip on that shaft, oh, no. and then the gear will split and crack and just fall completely. There's no apart. repairing it, I take it. Well, there is a fix. Oh. If you, especially if you can catch it before it completely breaks. Uh -huh. At least I've read on the internet. I've never tried this, hmm. but nothing sticks to nylon. Right. And so how do, you, how do you attach the gear? Well, short of buying some gears from someplace like Northwest Short Line and right. machining the axles and really doing it correctly... Uh, what a lot of people did is they took super glue and they put a drop of the thin super glue right where the gear sits up against the axle where it was starting to split and then sprinkle um, baking soda. So you oh. have to make sure you're kind of up on end so you can build up a little bit of baking soda around that crack. I see. And then another drop of super glue and boy does that harden the baking soda, right? Oh, okay. Uh, so. How long will that last? I don't know, because yeah. these super glues have a way of breaking down over time. Right. 
the, the best fix is to buy a more modern one. The, the, the latest generation on the Moguls and the 440s mm -hmm. and everything, well, they have brass gears. That's better. And that's better. <laughs> but the worst one was the first half of the first production run, mm. the one with the wood sides that's built oh, as a 36-ton okay. shake. Yes. Well, this one's never given me any trouble, oh, but I also haven't wood. run it all that much. But right. the guy I bought it from assured me that it runs well mm -hmm. and that he had run it to death, and I bought it on eBay. And so far, so good. So far, so good, yes. Yeah, so hopefully it won't. And, and if it does, you can still get a hold of those trucks that Bachman was giving out for free. Right. Just only at 250 bucks and not free anymore. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of money. Uh, but you see them on eBay, and, and Bachman does runs of them periodically mm -hmm. because you gotta, you got to fix these, right. these things. Right. But anyway, all that negativity and that weirdness uh, on the upside, isn't that a beautiful Oh, it's beautiful. I love shades engine. anyway. Well, shades are really neat. They are just and the neat. little teeny ones are my fave. Mm -hmm. The tea boiler, better still, because yeah. it's even it's even <laughs> lighter and different. screwier and funner. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is a darn, darn cute one. Yes. And uh, and then and and then the 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 next run of these after the the one where the first half of the run was failed, they did a metal cab, and so it doesn't have the wood panel here. It's got right. a riveted metal panel and. It's got a little different ornamentation to it, and so on. And they bill that as the thirty-six or the thirty-eight ton mm. Shea. Right. And those have never, as far as I know, given anybody any mechanical fits. But heck, anything's possible. <laughs> Don't know. But like I say, if if they quit running entirely for two hundred and fifty bucks, you mm. can just buy a new set of, of wheel trucks. Well, you'd have to do something. You can't just leave it. Well, you're not gonna. Yeah, unless. Yeah. You, the shelf queen or something like that. Um, not, not what we have it for. Yep. Anyway, there yeah. it is. Yeah. And this will be uh, one of the main uh, locomotives on our logging railroad once we get the logging railroad running. Up and going. Um, even though we have five logging engines, mm -hmm. all of them Bachman. Bachman, right. this one was so successful that um, they continued on and made a whole bunch of different uh, logging engines. They mm -hmm. did five. We bought five. and. We may, from time to time, run them on the logging railroad. Mm -hmm. Once we have a logging railroad, run them on. Right. Know. But for the next few weeks, we'll be showing you the other four. Yeah. But this is the first one. And this is painted the Ely Thomas Lumber Company. That's neat. Just because that's, <laughs> that's what I found on eBay. That's just neat. It's just neat. I, like I love it. it. It's really mm -hmm. cute. It's stinking cute. Yes. Okay. Well, if you haven't been <laughs> over the channel, pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. And the easy way to do that, the blue button. Are we ready? <laughs> Zoink! Right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you on Sunday, Sunday. as we build the logging railroad to, well, that guy. to run this guy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you we'll then. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.